All right, all right. We're doing a little Harbor Freight Wednesday. Yeah. Different Harbor Freight though. Also on a side note, check it out. This Harbor Freight looks amazing. What do you think? Okay. Wow, these are nice. They got the nice jacks on display. Little Daytona versus Snap-on comparison. Which color do you like the most? I definitely like this, the purple sparkly. Yeah, and the orange. These are nice. And the Badland off-road one. Wow, yeah, super cool. cool. If you guys it's know me, I love my ratchet tools, but another thing I love are good floor jacks. This one's got the attachments right there. The little service cross beam and the orange. Got a nice Pittsburgh's here. All sorts of different jacks and these nice Daytona aluminums. Hey, Alyssa, we might want this for the road trip. A rapid pump. Hmm. Not bad. That's actually okay. a good jack to have compared to a little twisty jack. And that fits in the trunk of your car pretty good. And it's, it's nice cute. and light. A little whole one and a half tons aluminum like too. It. Nice color. Yeah. We'll have to... Uh, see how the funds are we might pick one up and here's a really nice one but you know the price reflects on that three hundred dollars maddox toolkit so we got the icon scanner which i heard it's pretty decent um what else was there here the i know we went over the icon master induction service kit which is pretty cool i know my buddy daniel has it I'm trying to see what else is there here i know they got a nice universal radiator adapter set i don't see that new ball joint set though from icon i don't know if it's out in the stores yet got a radiator hose pick set from icon here 59.99 pretty sweet just so many tools. I know I've used this one here quite a bit, this forged ball joint separator. I actually still own one of these in my toolbox. These are great. And here we got this Maddox valve spring compressor. You've used one of these, Alyssa. Remember? 383 heads. It's like five years ago. Got picture yep. to prove it. I yep. remember. Oh, this is a good tool, an inner tie rod tool set. I don't have one of these yet. $54. Might have to pick one of those up. Sweet. What is this? Oh, strut compressor. Okay. I like it. That's pretty neat. Little clamshell design. We got a nice pneumatic fan clutch wrench set. And I know you guys commented that the air hammers is a pretty quality one so i'll definitely be picking one of those up soon just so many tools it's easy to go broke here we got some wheel chocks you got to be careful with these though remember what happened with the land cruiser on the driveway put one of these behind it land cruiser rolled right over it no brakes almost hit all the cars in the street yeah because they're going too fast i know so you got to be easy with them Look at all these magnet trays, $15.99, that's a big one. Man, Alyssa, I'm really fighting temptation to buy a bunch of stuff right now. No, I got that Harbor Freight, hey, I got that Harbor Freight credit card though, you know, so it's okay. Mm. Got this hydraulic body repair kit, pretty sweet. Look at this, a body and fender set from Maddox right there, $49.99. Not bad. All these trim sets, clips, little mirrors, body shims. Wow, this Harbor Freight has a lot more stuff than the other one. Impressive. So what do you think here? So personally, I like shop bags to clean out cars just because of how easy you can like bring it and how powerful the vacuums are. Especially, what's the one that we had at home? The Milwaukee? Yeah, we had a little Milwaukee one that we were and using. Then, it was Kyle's. Yeah, and then the orange one. That was a rigid. Rigid. Yeah. That one worked pretty good too, but I don't like the attachments on it. Oh. They fell off and I had to hold it a lot. Um, never heard of this brand, Bauer. Never tried them before. Mm, what else? What you trying to? Tr we should. I mean, they're they seem pretty good. I mean, it's a wet dry vacuum. Here's the big one. This is about something that you would want. 
here's all the attachments that it comes with and the filter and everything so we can get in between the crevices for the uh and our cars it's got the filter the bag everything i mean you know it's a nice 16 gallon 140 dollars that might be a pretty pretty good unit what are your guys's uh uh experience with these here it's not bad there's the uh part number right there or model number i should say this is a parts washer? Yeah, this here is a parts washer, Alyssa. So you put your parts in here, you run the solvent, and it cleans it all up. So you get your parts, your brushes, and it'll cycle through. This is pretty sweet. What's up? It is on and off. Yeah, on the side right here. So yeah, that's your parts washer. That's something I would definitely like to have once we have our own shop. And this here, do you know what this is? Um, yes, I do gonna read the sign <laughs> it's a sandblaster so you get your parts is. in here and you clean off all the rust and everything really this is... i i thought it was for um metal work yeah you well you clean your things. yeah you oh no you clean your metal with it this is a bad i mean you're looking you at sure? 209 dollars am i sure no Alyssa. it's to bake a cake <laughs> yeah it's a floor bass can it's a sandblaster so you get your the attachment here with the air compressor because this is just a cabinet and you and it blows the media onto the part and cleans all the rust off that's how you have gloves um, this here obviously isn't put in correctly or else you'd get your me media everywhere yep but that that's what that's for we'll generators if we move we'll definitely need a generator Dude, look at this big old predator generator 22.99 18 and a half hours runtime only 67 decibels so it's nice and quiet gas powered this is a really nice generator we'll definitely need one when we move oh yeah yeah all these stuff here i mean if you guys you know share your input on your guys's personal experience with them comment below i mean you know this is all stuff that Alyssa and i obviously don't have but eventually We'll have our own house and shop and everything. So we're just kind of looking just to start off, you know, something that doesn't break the bank completely. A gallon wet and dry portable vacuum. This is something I would like. Yeah, I think that would work good for vacuuming out the cars. Yeah. You know, it's not too bad. I'm, like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to pay wash. car wash and just do it myself. Yeah. I mean, this. That, but like around the garage real quick. So what, you think the other one might be too big for you? No, we'll definitely have that if, if we have that. that and good. one of these two, I guess, yeah. or. I don't know. We could figure it out. It's a nice little hand one. Just put this in your trunk of your car and you can just, oh, you can just vacuum out your car. Predator engines. Alyssa, this is what was in the, uh, in the goat cart for, uh, that, um, Hunter's nephew had. Really? In that one video. Yep. So not bad. See, here's a predator here engine and they sell this ghost so you can get the kits for it that whole kit to trick it out and make it faster and then there's a go-kart right there that's pretty cool so here's the accessory kit is 200 dollars, and then the engine is 329 dollars. so i don't know maybe we build you a crazy go-kart little off-road go-kart and get you this engine and set up what do you guys think should i build her this go-kart i think we should decorate it as like mario kart yeah so we can each be a character so then we'll have like a tournament yeah we just need to find a frame for it that would be cool so many ideas I'll get to them eventually. Actually, here it is. Here's the cart racing engine and the exhaust kit. I love that. I didn't even know this existed. That's pretty cool. It is. And then I here's... I like uh, my own Mario Kart. Make you uh, be a character. I'll be a uh, princess... Not princess... No, Princess Daisy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Look. That's some pipe wrenches. Or I'd be Koopa Troopa. I think it should be Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopa. We got some pipe wrenches here. Look, here's the Swedish ones, which is similar to those icon ones that I got. And I know people comment on the snap on videos. It's the Swedish pipe wrench. I know Alan Nick's name them the monkey wrench. But yeah, there they are. We got a big assortment of pipe wrenches for plumbing and stuff. Or maybe you have a really tight tie rod link. Just use that. Just kidding. Don't do that. If it's that tight, you gotta free it up. Here we got some chain locking clamp pliers. Got a little T-handle reamer, little extractor, shower valve sockets. That's a lot more of like plumbing style things. Here's a little power plunger. That's pretty cool. 
What is all this here? Just a bunch of pumps, it looks like. Neat. Trailer equipment. I know we use this cargo net on the FJ when I went camping with Hunter at his ranch. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. Got the LED lights here for the trailers. Some light bars. Will we put one of these on the Camry? <laughs> no. Okay. Not bad. And the winches. I know we went over that last week. It's pretty cool. They got the synthetic rope and stuff. That's also something good to have in the truck that we don't own yet. <laughs> Not bad. Earthquake. Yep, here are the earthquake pneumatic guns. And I know someone commented about the electric ones. I did not take a look at them. But they're on clearance right now. Here's the battery, the charger. There's the earthquake gun. 1,400 foot pounds. It's a three quarter drive though. And then here's a half drive with a long front That's on it. Cool. So there's that three quarter drive right there. Not bad. This mini wrench at wrench. Yeah, pneumatic. Probably when you're going into tiny spaces. Yeah. Oh, no. So all all pneumatic stuff. What I want, Alyssa, is this thing over here. Oh, do you know what that is? Nope. It's a scaler. You use that and it'll clean all the rest off the metal. It'll go mm. these things will go boom 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 and hit it really good. But it's an air chisel. I want this one, the chief one. Hundred forty dollars. It's got good reviews. I think that's one I'll be getting soon. Not bad. All sorts of tools. One day I'll have them all in my toolbox. <laughs> Here's all the chisel set too for it. Not bad. These are all air tools? Yes, pneumatic. Mm -hmm. We got this nice cart here. I own this in orange. It's an excellent cart. I love it. There it is right there. And those are the colors they offer. And then my other one, I own this one in red, full bank service cart. Look at that nice purple. Oh, look. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, guys. You guys are on a budget. You guys can get one here, $59.99. But I do recommend you go to Costco. Costco has the best deals on everything. Well, most things, I'll say. So they have like a metal one like this. Five, uh, five tier storage rack. Mm, I love it so far. <laughs> so these little ammo cans here are pretty good because they're metal. And what I use them for is to put my RC car batteries, the LiPo batteries, because if case one pops off, you got metal. So it doesn't burn your house down. So I'm thinking I'll get the biggest ammo can they've got, which is this one right here, $12.99. They're actually all the same size. Pretty sweet. I like it. Or, and you can also put your ammunition in there. <coughs> Got some utility knives here. Not bad. $8.99. That is cool. We Got a little machete there, too. Little hand saws. A little bit of everything here. Levels. Little gauge finder to set your pinion angles on your rear ends. Oh, yeah. We got some nice micrometer set here, little digital caliper, and a nice different other calipers too. A little indicator. I actually use this indicator here to indicate Alyssa's uh, the crankshaft end play. I use these two on her engine, and it was in spec, so the thrust bearings were correct. This right here would be the. It's like a wood tool chest, so. This would be like uh, just kind of old school style. I mean, I personally wouldn't use it because this seems like it'd be better used for like, you I know, would use this for my jewelry or something more precise, maybe for like a watch tools or something, you know, something that's more clean. Definitely nothing automotive or like RC car related because you just stain up this beautiful green inside. But I like it. That's pretty cool. What's this for? Uh, I don't know. If you guys know, comment below. <laughs> I don't know. Then we got nice rugged Ooh, storage here for the garage. We have, like when we get our house, something like this to hang our tools. Yes. That way you're not going through the drawers. Like, oh, well, no, I can. One? I can organize okay, the well, drawers. Because I don't even know anything about tools. No. But yeah, let's see what else is there. So here we've got the icon 
right here and then here we got the u.s general mm -hmm. the icon is pretty solid just the bottom is 2400 bucks i mean look at that here let's take a look inside not bad i know the drawers aren't as deep as like the snap-on or any of the tool truck brand boxes but that's to be expected yeah here pull them out all the way pull them out all the way what do you think how do you think what? yeah oh you have a charging drawer? yes we got a charging drawer right here pull her open this is something i really want this is nice yes this is really nice. This is the triple bank, though. This is nice. Yep, I can put all the guns in there and everything. Wow. Should we look on their catalog? Let's see about the prices here. So $2,400 bucks for a dual bank. This is a triple bank we're looking at. So the triple bank is $3,000. And it's modular ready, but it doesn't come with the steel top, to my understanding. So the steel top uh, doesn't pop up here. I think you get it when you buy the hutch. No, you don't get it when you buy the hutch. But there's the hutch for $7.99. And you get your work center or the... Wait, what's the difference? Oh, okay. One's for triple bank and one's for dual bank. So for dual bank, you get $7.99. Triple bank, it's $9.99. Then here's the end lockers, ventilated and everything. What do you think about this end locker, Alyssa? This like is it. huge. I think it's nice. There's so much storage in there. You need to put a mini fridge. Oh yeah, you gotta put everything in there. That'd be nice. You can have snacks. When you're or as hungry. or as Ron in Pennsylvania has to snap on little hot dog maker and stuff. Alyssa loves a good hot dog. From Costco. Yes. So she we got actual hot dog, guys. Don't think like that. She's got a dirty mind. And here's just the top chests as well. Just all the ratings and everything on them. This is for dual bank, triple bank. And then we also have the overhead, which is not here. I know they have it at the other Harbor Freight. There it is for dual bank and the triple bank. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So for triple bank, stainless steel top is $299. So it'd be... 300 for this and for the toolbox bo about 3000 so you're looking about 3300 bucks for just the box and the steel countertop which is pretty nice i'm very strongly considering one of these i have been for a while there's the key and a work center light bar not bad we'll close that off let's take a look at this u.s general so the u.s general Alyssa. We're looking at $17.99. There's no steel mm -hmm. countertop. I would not want a hammer on this here. Dent it up. Let's see how they... Okay. What do you think? Yeah, you open nice. But how would it... How do you think it'd feel with a bunch of weight in it? A little cheap, maybe? I think it would... Uh, it, it feels like... Um, what's the word? Like you know, in a in a bad dress, if you overload it, the yes. Starts to so fall the hit, the yeah, the the slides. Yeah, you feel it seems like, the like we'll put a lot of weight on the slides and eventually give out. Yeah, I think so too. No, what are you doing? Oh, this one's broken already. Yeah, maybe not a toolbox I'd like to buy. So you pull that to the side. This one's broken, so we can't look inside. Ouch, it's already kind of hurting the quality. What do you think? Uh, it's not making a good sell point. No, you know, I mean, it seems okay, but if you're going to go this big, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but you can get all this or just get the bottom part of the icon and save up and get the rest. And it's just a much more quality. This here, unfortunately, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll buy one of these. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong. It still has some good storage, but you know, for the price of $17.99 for triple bank, I mean, you know, the quality is not gonna be 100%, but it does have a power drawer. Not bad, I guess. What do you think? No. Yeah. Or get a Mac. All right, we got some T-handles here. 
is something I'll be getting soon. I actually do need some Allen keys, but I don't like them when they're like this. For when I'm working on the RC cars, I want the straight ones. But these are all T handles here. I mean, they're really cheap. I know Kyle owns them, but it feels like the handle will snap off. I mean, sometimes with things like this, I mean, they're okay, but they're, I mean, they're still lifetime, but they're kind of cheap. I mean, come on, $7.99, what are you gonna expect, right? Mm -hmm. Got some nut drivers and everything here. All right, all right, heat guns. These are pretty good here. I mean, 39 bucks, a little electric heat gun. You don't know how to plug it in not bad there's the bauer and the hercules i think so bauer is the lower line of things hercules is the better line of things so there it is there's actually some stuff here on clearance all right so we got this hercules ultra torque here it's on sale it's an open box 160 instead of 200 not bad three quarter anvil pretty sweet it's just a tool only though it's a little pittsburgh torque wrench i actually have one of these they're pretty strong Mine broke, so I need to bring it in for a warranty, and I'll be good to go. Alyssa actually accidentally threw one of mine away. I did, by accident. There's an earthquake gun on promo here, or on clearance, 97 bucks. This is pretty cool, it's only, it's on sale, so it's 598, I mean, it needs to be eight bucks, but. Yeah, I don't know how an $8 bicycle hook thing system would work. Would you trust it? Falls down. Nah, I'll just use the hook. What do you think about this, uh, is this a carpet cleaner? Steam cleaner, $57. They lowered it now to $46. Nice. Some mechanic gloves. Uh, you know, I wonder, these would sometimes be good so I'm not busting my knuckles, but sometimes I need that feeling. But also I was talking to the manager here and he explained, or was explained to us, you get this inside track I thought it was $30 for the month. No, it's $30 for the year. So just right there, $17. I'm going to get this thing for $13. So I'm getting $4 off. So, you know, the more things I buy, the more I'll save. I mean, that's kind of the point, right? <laughs> well, in that case, let's buy... Well, let's get stuff that we actually need, though, Alyssa. Oh, of course. Yeah, we can't just, you know, pick hey, random random what's items. this? Oh, it's a laser level. Look yeah. Oh, for a camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, a dollar ninety-seven utility caliper. Oh, let's go look at the power tools, Alyssa. Hi. Alyssa, you want some binoculars? Twenty bucks. That's actually a pretty good deal, but I'm trying to find some cool old ones. So. Oh, how about a key-shaped knife for when you get mad and you? Uh... <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I'll use it. Propane regulator. Oh, yeah. Got some nice little trays here. Little wall stuff. Not bad. And then here's the inside track. What? A metal detector. Look, it's on sale, too. On the inside track. So this one comes with a 10-inch water searching coil, one-touch treasure hunting, five different search modes, digital target ID, and adjustable length. To 41 inches to 51 inches that's pretty cool so you what you want to go metal detecting look here's another one so the metal detector with an arm rest this one is 54 dollars. 54 dollars. i don't know what's the difference do any have any of y'all used one of these comment arm below support. what's the feedback well this one has arm support too but this one looks nice phone jack lets you operate without noise interference adjustable stem Hmm. Okay, guys, I want you guys to tell me in the comments if it's worth buying or not. Because someone told me you have to get a really good metal detector because of the sand at beaches. Because I'm going to use it at the beach. They said that um, the sand has metals and, like, irons in it. And so it, it goes off and there might not be anything there. It's just going off because, you know, of the sand. Right. So you guys tell me uh, if you've used it at the beach, how well it... If, if you guys... um think i should buy it or not all right we'll know for next time and then i'll find some treasure yeah no kidding let's go look at the uh power tools someone wanted to see them so we've got the hercules uh, electric ratchets i have never used them i have no input on them they look pretty sturdy though 
So here's all the different assortments of them. We've got a nice quarter long neck, quarter stubby, and then the three eighths long neck and the three eighths stubby. We've got a nice three quarter electric impact wrench here. If you buy any of these and you get a free battery, not bad. I mean, the Circulies ones look pretty good. Brushless and everything too. And here we've got the Bowers of them, which is their midline of it. So here we are. Got this nice big one too, variable speed. These are corded though. And then there's a Hercules mid torque or little compact impact wrench, whatever you want to call it. And the Bower working our way down to the little quarter compact from Hercules. And then there's a Bauer counterpart. And if you're going really inexpensive, they got this little warrior ones. So there they are. I know they used to have a $20 one. Oh, there it is. 24 bucks. I think Bobby has one of those, Alyssa. Warrior? Yeah. I think when so. I put up his lights. Yeah, it was one of those, mm. I believe. But it worked okay, I guess. Also, guys. Once we get our house, I want to start doing projects myself. But projects myself, but uh, with woodwork and start building things. So also tell me in the comments some great beginner tools that would be great for me to use and start working on because I want to start building just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, this is going to be my carpenter because mm -hmm. I am a terrible woodworker. Just mm -hmm. how was that bed I helped you build? I designed my bed and I like it, but Paula did not do a very good job cutting. Nope, it's crooked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had to use a lot of caulking, which is be the auto. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay bad. It's first project. Yep, yep. I'm not a good woodworker, but Alyssa could be my woodworker. We've got some metal cutting shears here from Bauer and Hercules. Pretty cool. Here, Alyssa, I know you're going to need a table saw I or a cutoff will. saw. You're going to oh, need one of those. It's on sale. Hey, once we get our house, you can buy anyone for Christmas. Yes, we'll get you all set up with all of that good things. And then here we've got this Hercules uh, mobile miller, miter stand. Not bad. There's that big predator generator. Oh, yeah. We got the reciprocating saws here. Got them corded and cordless from Hercules and Bauer. And from Warrior as well. Here, Alyssa, here's some woodworking things. I definitely want something that is secure so I don't cut any fingers. Maybe we'll get you DeWalt or Milwaukee. How do those compare to the Hercules? I don't know. Someone will tell us. This little drill master. Eh, I don't know about that one. We've got all our blades and saws. So guys, I think for today, I'm going to pick up this little one and a half ton one here. I mean... $99, you know, 35 off. That right there is going to pay for my inside track alone. So I'm picking that sucker up. You guys, if you guys are local to Harbor Freight, better run in and get them because they are going quick. So I'm going to go ahead and carry this thing. Let's hand the ammo can to Alyssa. Oh, yeah. Let's pull this down. I would say it's pretty lightweight. I carry it on my shelf, on my shoulder. No problem. All right, that finishes up the Harbor Freight store tour. We picked up a few things, joined the Inside Track Club. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, what do you have to say? Now it's time to eat some Wingstop tonight. Yes, ma'am.